In this program, I want to share with you 12 factors that determine your success. And what I'm going to do in this session is actually go through them very quickly in sort of an outline format. And then what we'll do is we'll unpack each one of the 12 factors for you session by session. What are the 12 factors? And before we even talk about that, let's talk about what is success. Some would argue that success is the accumulation of great wealth or great riches or uh, a certain balance in your checking account. Uh, some would argue that success is getting to the end of your life and being able to leave a financial inheritance or some sort of an asset inheritance for those that you're leaving behind. I would argue that success is finding, executing, and fulfilling the plan, the purpose uh, that God created you for. What were you put here on the earth to do, and did you successfully achieve that purpose? In other words, when I get to the end of my life, to me, success looks like this. It looks like, did I serve the people that God called me to serve? Did I make significant contributions to the world? Did I actually make a difference in my lifetime? And yes, of course, I think you must factor in there, did I succeed financially? Did I create and generate financial independence for myself, for my family? And did I leave an inheritance for my children? The Bible does say that a successful man, a good man, leaves an inheritance for his children. So we know these things are all a part of the success matrix, but I want to share with you this idea. Uh, success is really about being grounded in those things that are most important. And as we unpack each of these over the next number of sessions, I think you'll find that these are truly foundational principles. These are factors that not only contribute to the ultimate outcome of your life and your success, but they also really are essential if you're going to have influence and make a great difference in your world. Let me go through them very quickly for you. The first factor is spiritual connectedness. This has to do with your relationship with God. I'm a person of faith. I am a Christian. I believe very strongly in the, the, ground, the, the foundation of a relationship with my Heavenly Father being at the center of my life. And so I want to talk some about that as we look at that particular factor. The second factor is self-awareness. Self-awareness. Are you fully vetted in who you are, why you're here, and the gifts, the talents, the abilities that God's given you to serve mankind with? The third factor is your core belief systems. Uh, there, this might be the most important factor because what you believe to be true about all the different components of life will certainly govern the outcomes of your life. The fourth factor is, do you have a mission or a cause that is larger than you? The fifth factor, do you have a desire to serve others? I'm gonna dive deep into that one because quite honestly, uh, you know, life really isn't about me. It's not about you. It's about what are we here to contribute? Do, Zig Ziglar said this a long time ago, you can have everything that you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want in life. We're going to talk much about that. The next factor is vision. Well, you know this right up front. Without vision, people perish, the Bible says. We're going to talk about that. The next factor is goals and strategic planning. Now, this is an overstated, overused, over-talked about idea. Everyone knows that you must have goals, but the fact is very few people actually have written very clear, well-articulated goals for their life. They don't have a plan. They get up every day and do the same thing again and again. We're going to talk about why that must change in our lives if we're going to have really good success. The next factor is discipline, personal discipline, and systems to execute. Do you have personal discipline? Can you stay on point? Can you stay focused on the things that are most important to you? And have you created or adopted systems around you that can help you to do just that? The next one you've heard me talk about often on this program, and that is relationships. Relationships are everything, and I'll, we'll talk much more about that in its uh, individual session. The next factor is accountability. 
We're going to talk about both internal accountability and external accountability and what that means in your life. The next factor is determination and follow through. Hey, raise your hand, only if you're not driving, raise your hand if you understand that you're going to face resistance. You're going to hit some hard times. There will be some difficult moments in life as you're pursuing the thing God's given you to do. You've got to have determination. You've got to follow through. When you begin something, you see it through to the end. We'll talk much about that. Lastly, the last factor that determines success is self-care. You cannot give what you do not have. If you're not taking care of you, you're going to be serving your community out of a great deficit, which is devastating. So those are the 12 factors. We're going to dive deep in each of those, and I look forward to sharing this information with you. Thank you.